Hey guys, I've been doing some landscape paintings on homemade uh, oil on canvas boards. Now, I've tried to get these on eBay complete, just a uh, canvas on boards. And the only one I can get is the stiff canvas. But this is a special paper that's from Reeves. It's an oil pad. And... I also bought some A3 size, this is A3 size as well, A3 oil on board, oil pad paper, it's uh, 190 grams, so it's not that all that thick, but to make it thicker I have a A3 size backing board as well that I bought from eBay, so I'm going to show you how I make my own oil on boards. So let's get started. I thought that this would be interesting for these. Right, this is it. It's the oils, it's the leaves oil pad, and it's uh, 190 grams as it says, just the paper. So we'll take one sheet of this. It's just like the watercolour paper, but it's got a texture uh, for specially made for oil painting. So we get one of these and one of these A3 size as well. This is just a, a backing board for A3 size. You know how you get the or you know how you get the the borders for making paintings up. Well, this is, this is the backing board off them. So if you want one, just go on eBay and, and look for backing boards. This is fairly stiff card, so we're going to glue that onto that. And the glue I use is just a simple PVA glue. Yeah, that's good. On with it then. Simple, but effective. attach it to my board my clipboard and just dip it in the glue you got another one of these running low on PVA glue but I think there's enough to do is and just splatter it on Cover a whole lot. It's a fairly simple process now. Get the backing board, get the glue covered paper, and just line it up. And smooth it down. Not a complicated process as you see it's very very simple it's just gluing a board a paper an old paper on a backing board but as i said it's very effective and what we do with this now is we press it down with some books and let it dry overnight. Any creases like that, just smooth them out. Simple. Now, if you don't press it down, it will warp. And you've got to, don't put too many books on, as 
if you do, then it does uh, dry and shrink. It will, well, it will shrink, so it will bend. So try not to put too many books on. I usually put one or two on, and that's it. As I said, I only put two, two books on. One like that, or one like that. That's ample. That's ample weight for it to dry overnight. Just enough to keep it flat.
and this is the finished result. Still lots to do to it. Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to let this painting dry. It's one of the landscapes I've been doing and once it's dried, I'll put in an animal, probably a roe deer, a fox or a badger. But as you can see, there's the result of the homemade oil on board. You can do it with watercolour paper as well watercolour uh, on boards as well so yeah and I've got a whole load as I says to you a whole load of these landscape paintings all different sizes and I'm going to do a vlog and let you see the work in progress so hope you enjoyed this vlog this little tip and I'll go and do another <laughs> vlog maybe in Leafy's Wood or maybe another book review or whatever but yeah Let's get on with the next vlog. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. That's something different. Bye bye.